talking about? I knew that bra was going to piss me off this episode. Like, I just knew it. Zero, you a whole mess. You a whole mess that you just tried to sabotage that whole visit because you are insecure about you. So far, from what I can see, Choi is an upstanding guy. So far, from what I can see. Because when the episode starts, he started off asking you how the hell you felt. He wanted to know how you was doing, how you was feeling with this visit. And you just wanted to be an a just on purpose and just get a complete attitude with this boy. If you had an issue about a phone call that he had with that girl, you should have dealt with that the night before. Not the next day when it's his visit day with a daughter he said he hasn't seen since she was seven months old. Because that episode with her, she did too much. Now, I thought she was an asshole the last time just having an, uh, an attitude with the mama coming in. But she went too far this time. She really did. Because at first I thought, damn, if this girl sat there in front of me and told my son, pack his shit and fuck out, what would I do? Because at first I said, Karen... They having their own little argument, their own little moment. Why don't you just stay the hell up out of it? Just stay up out of it. But then I thought, you know what? You brought her there. So since you brought her there, then she get to be in it. But I could tell you this. If you would have said that to my son in front of me, your face would have cleared up. Your face would have cleared up. Now, I'm not one who like to put harm on people, but I don't like people to get messed with who ain't doing shit. And he wasn't doing shit. He wasn't doing anything at all that I can see for you to have the attitude that you had. He was trying to be nurturing to you. He can understand that you're feeling nervous and everything about meeting a baby mama for the first time. He, uh, he, he, he get all that. But here you sitting here blaming him for shit that he said, I ain't even did nothing. I can't go nowhere. I'm talking to her in front of you. So what's the issue? But then you want to say the issue is, well, I don't know what you're saying when you walk away. So you're just finding issues to have with this boy. But you have no communication skills, church girl. But she ain't no real church girl because I believe them damn people are her damn parents in the first damn place. I don't. I believe she belonged to them people. But uh, preacher's kids are shitty anyway. And I guess you're one of them if you want to be one. Because the way you talk to him, that ain't right, girl. That ain't right to be cursing that boy out because if he was to talk to you that way, you would have a whole, you would be really wanting to put him out. And mama's right. No, you can't put him out just because his name on ain't on the lease. Don't mean you, you can put him out. He is your damn husband. And that's why I tell you, man, get out and get your own shit. Don't be with these silly ass, I want to call them bitch so bad. Don't be with these silly ass bitches like her. Because the minute they get a hair up their ass, they want to tell you to pack your shit and leave. But I think the timing of her being an asshole, that was just really, that, that wasn't cool. But then some tricky shit started to happen. And I don't know if you guys caught it. It was just weird to me. It was weird. I'm not going to get ahead of myself. So now they just keep going back and forth. She trying, he trying to tell her, ain't nothing going on. Whatever I tell her, you know about but of course, she's still being accusatory and, and being on one. Because really, I think she's insecure about the way she looks. And she don't want to go over there and beat the baby's mama. Because if it was me, I've been in the situation with my daughter. My daughter. I repeat, my daughter. I've been raising her since she was 18 months old. That is my daughter. So I took every opportunity to be a petty motherfucker every time to be around that broad when she was, you know, back then she was trying to be in my daughter's life, but she kept failing. But during that time when she was trying, I made sure anytime we went to drop the baby, drop her off, I was there. Sometimes I was dropping her off by myself. I just made sure I stayed here in her face and let her know I'm here and I ain't going nowhere. And my husband wasn't, didn't give a shit about her anyway, but she wanted him. But he didn't want that old raggedy bride, and he's so glad that he didn't, because she back out there in the streets and went back to be a mother to her child, not one. I'm her mother. So, 
You need to go over there and just be petty and stop acting all insecure and shit. You want to know what your man doing? Then go over there. Stop. Don't you show people your real feelings about shit. If you are feeling jelly, don't let people know you feeling that way. You don't do that. You don't show your hand. You just showing your whole, your whole ass. And stop putting this shit on your face. All you doing is just making it worse. You just making it worse. Stop wearing makeup. I don't know. I don't, this girl. You, I don't like it when women just cuss out their man like that shit. That shit pissed me off. So poor Troy. Troy's just walking. He don't even know where you're going. He says, I ain't even been out that damn long and I got to deal with this shit. I'd have to get out and deal with this crazy bitch. And the producers are running over. Why won't you just explain to her what you're telling us? He says, I tried to tell that ignorant ass heifer, but she's not listening because she's too caught up in her own insecurities. So she's not hearing Like I said, shit. I would be petty. I wouldn't give a shit if anybody didn't like me because that's what she said. She says, well, I'm feeling kind of nervous because I'm going somewhere where nobody don't like me. Well, that's perfect for me. Maybe that's just the way I am. I don't mind if you don't like me because if you don't like me, I'm going to make sure I'm in your damn space or you see my damn face. You're going to see me if you don't like me, especially in those situations. Cause I like, like I said, I like being, I like being petty in those situations. But I said, and I said again, I think you're just insecure about you. That's why you don't want to show up because you didn't have to act like that. You got the man. You married the man. I'd be flaunting my ring and doing all kind of that shit. Pulling all my little gumby green cat suit and shit. That's what I'd be doing. But uh, no, like I said, I think you're insecure. I want to see what the baby mama look like because you acting real funny and shit and don't want to go over there. That's the first person I would want to see. So the they get mama. in the car because mama done rolled out the window like screaming out in the neighborhood. It's like, stop acting like a banshee mama because <laughs> she already pissed off that they done messed up her hide. She said, you know, throw me some more gun. He said, you messing up my hide with all your arguing and shit. That's what you got going on. Like I said, I, I don't know. As a mother being there, I think I would have got in it too. I, I wouldn't. I couldn't take the way she was talking to that boy like that. He ain't did shit. Anyway, they driving around in the car looking for him. And guess who calls? Yanni calls. Is her name Yanni or Yana? I don't know. It's one of those. So she calls. And then she says something. Mama gets back off the phone and she repeats something that was said to uh old girl to z about him being um on parole and can't do what he need to do or you know you, you heard what he said so she feeling like well damn he must be telling her more shit if she know all that i said girl it makes sense that she would know all that she has the baby. It would make sense for her to say, hey, why you ain't been over to see your kid? And it would make sense for him to say, well, I can't move the way I normally move because I'm on probation and da-da-da. It would make sense for them to have that conversation. You act like mama repeated some, some other sideways shit. But this is when it gets stupid to me and I start feeling some kind of way about their storyline. So then they finally get back to the house. So she's like, you know what? I'm tired of all this shit. I'm go. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just go ahead and go to bed. So she go in the room, and then Yanni calls again. She's like, I still don't know where he at. They whoop whoop talking, and then they was only on the phone a few minutes. And the mama gets off the phone and says, Oh, I need to go talk to her. She said there's been somebody over here, and, and that she cheating. And then you hear her in there. I know they know that. I can hear it. Just that last bit turned into bullshit at the end for me. It did. It just turned into bullshit. I said, that don't even make no sense. How would that girl know who been hanging out at this broad's house? How would, any, how would anybody know? Like how? It just didn't belong in the scene. Like, why are you trying to create some drama? Because that's what it felt like. Did it feel like that to you guys? I just thought that shit was just so fucking random. It was random the way she just got off the phone. Oh, I need to talk to her. Her, she been cheating. This man been over. That shit didn't make fucking sense to me. It didn't. Did it make sense to you guys? Because it just didn't to me. I said, okay, now you guys are starting to be a little wavy. You're starting to lose me a little bit. Because that shit didn't make any sense. Now you got Christina and Julian. Christina, the reason Julian ain't flossy bossy like that and have extravagant trips and expensive all the shit you saw him and his wife doing. Because his wife had a job, you silly broad. 
This man already told you he'd have been paying for you since you've been locked up. You got all your shit out of your house, put it in his house. He even paid about $5,000 for your damn fees for your damn child support. He paying a lot of shit for you that you probably don't even deserve because you can't even stop getting loaded. There's no way I spend that amount of money on this knock needed broad. I I just wouldn't. She been going to prison, in and out of jail, just did eight months, couldn't pass two of her UAs. There's no fucking way I would spend that much money on this broad to see her kids. And her life ain't even halfway together. So you lucky, like he said, he spent too much. He wouldn't even give us. You shouldn't have spent that much, son. She's not deserving of She's what? Come on. So now she want to kind of have an attitude because she feel like she need to be living the way you was treating your wife or the wife was an ex. So she got child support. That bitch probably took half his shit, you goofy broad. Get a job. I know it's hard for fellas to get a job because I am one. Was one. Was one twenty three. Been there. So I took telemarketing jobs and I took all kind of little shit until I decided, okay, fuck this. I'm going back to school. I got to learn something about computer, And I continued on with my life. So I don't care. Stop thinking this man was going to take care of you. Because that's what she looked at him. She says, I thought you was going to take care of me. And he should have said, well, my mother, you thought wrong. In today's world, we need two incomes. And you need to work. You want to see your kids. You want courts. You want lawyers. Get a job. Get a job. Okay, get a job. Can't do this shit all by myself. So I don't really know what she expects from Julian. She lucky he did what he did. Because like I said, there's no way I would have spent 5000 on anything to do with her kid situation. And this bitch can't even stay out of jail. <laughs> and apparently he's about a dumb too because like I said, he was caught stealing her. So anyway, that's it. That's all. Y'all, did you guys watch that debate? I started to do something on that debate, but I don't trust you to. But I'm going to say this about the orange man and her. Looked like somebody had Botox. Looked like he had a whole little old makeover because his hair was a different color. Both of them didn't have lines on his forehead. I said, I saw your pictures before. So it looked like they did a little Botox and some makeup. Gave him a little makeover. Since now, he's not standing next to old ass old man that was sleepy and standing next to this chick who's a little bit younger a little bit youthful so he had to like fuck let me go get some more. that's what it looked like to me i don't know anyway y'all watch your cats and your dogs from them haitians i had to say that's some ignorant shit don't be an asshole y'all bye